People who are 40 and happy with their life, what is your advice to people in their 20s? Don't fall for the trap that your life needs to be one long narrative that you should be building. Life is best when it's a bunch of happy moments that just happen to be connected. Don't try to make your life into a novel, make it a book of poems. Chris Rock said it best now, people tell you life is short. No, it's not. Life is loom. Especially if you make the wrong decisions. Edit the point is, you've got time. Don't kill yourself trying to do it all now. Maintain your friendships. In 20 years you will be so grateful for those people who saw you through marriages, children, illness and health. People who will go for a trip with you, love your kids, remember you as a young person. Friends are essential but they require work. Don't be alone just because you don't want to be the person who reaches out to others. When I was in college, I had the chance to go to Europe but I passed because I had to work at a warehouse. I picked staying at a part-time warehouse job overseeing the world. When I finally went abroad in my 30s, it changed my perspective about everything and everyone. Go to another country that is far away and different than your own. Relax more. Don't get angry over little things. I was a raging alcoholic in my 20s and thought I would never recover from it. I never found a real job using my first degree or my masters. Part of it was because I was always drunk, part of it was the job market at the time. I went back to school in my 30s and found something I like a whole lot more. Now, I'm married, nearly 10 years sober, and have a great job. My point is, if you end up on the wrong path or don't like where you are, there's always time to turn around and change it. Too many people just assume they're stuck where they are and stuck with the issues they have. When I was 22, an older gentleman asked me how old I was and then told me, Chad 303, when you are twice that age, you'll be twice the man you are today. I almost considered it a slight in that moment, but time has proven him wise. Here I am, twice that age and, in my humble estimation, twice the man than I was then. I believe this chiefly because I have learned that kindness is not a weakness, humility serves you better than pride, and cruelty is a fool's game. Never rely on your kids to make you happy. They will have to move on to their lives. Plan accordingly. Get a regular exercise routine going and stick to it like your quality of life depends on it because it does. Start saving now for your retirement. Avoid debt. Floss daily. Exercise daily. The biggest regret my dad has was not starting some sort of savings for retirement when he was in his 20s. He didn't start putting money into his 401k until he was 30 or so. If you don't have access to a 401k, Look into getting an IRA or something you can just chip something into every week or month. Save. Your. Money. I wish I could have backed the thousands of dollars I threw in the fire partying at clubs. This whole thread is wholesome AF. I'm 32 but I wish I would have spent more of my 20s listening to advice of slightly older people rather than trying to prove that I could figure it out on my own. Imagine how much energy I could have saved. You are never too old or too deep into something to just start over. If you aren't happy do something else. I've read about people taking up marathons at 50. For me, every day is potential for a new start. Don't like how I felt yesterday. Then I guess I'm doing something different today. I'm 50 now. So much left to do and so much time to do it smiling face. Go have an adventure of a lifetime. Don't put it off. Make plans for your money. Stay out of debt. You don't need that new car, watch, handbag etc. Material items are not worth your sanity. Have a 3-6 month emergency fund. Don't waste time on anyone who disrespects you. Have a backbone but don't be rude. Not everything needs your reaction. Find someone who you can spend endless time with. Talk about ideas not people. Above all fuck what anyone thinks. 
it'll be 41 this year. Calm the fuck down. Seriously. I panicked my way through my 20s. When shit goes wrong, stay calm and think logically. Act like the person you want to be. Wear sunscreen. Moisturize your skin. Do not go to tanning salons. I'm a dude. If you aren't sure you want kids, make sure you are sure before you have them. I dodged a couple of bullets over the years, and don't have any kids. I see and hear all the crap other people have to go through, and I don't think I could handle that level of stress in my life. I'm very glad to be childless. Of course some people love kids, and should have lots of them. That's just not me, and it might not be you too. I'm financially happy. So my advice in this regard is to not use your credit card unless you are 100 sure you can pay it off that month and it's not a burden. Don't go into debt. I'm also happy with my children who are polite, intelligent, and happy themselves. My advice there is to always be true to your word with them, and always say please and thank you. Go to therapy. Figure out what your insecurities are, why you have them, and how to deal with so that they don't define the rest of your life. Talk about your issues from childhood and your teens yeah, everyone has issues even in their 20s. If you don't do it now you will make decisions based on or driven by those issues and that will put you on a path you may not like. Experiences over materials items. You're not going to remember that pair of shoes, or that expensive item or if you do, the memory won't compare to that awesome adventure you went on, or that great night out. Wear a fucking condom. Fail to plan? Plan to fail. 1. Identify your goals and values. Don't confuse a step towards your goal job for the goal peace of mind, happiness. 2. Don't fight reality. Reality is all there is, don't waste time wishing it was different. Don't invent things that are not true. Reality is enough just as it is. 3. Make choices based on your new framework goals and reality. Small daily choices are super important. Don't marry someone because you think it's something you have to do. The same goes with having children. I've done neither even though my family has always hounded me to am incredibly happy with where I'm at. I can't think of how miserable I'd be making commitments like those just to make others happy. Put yourself first, people. Get out of that creepy cult while you are young. Live your life free of your parents' cult. I was raised in the Mormon cult. If you haven't started some investment for the future, now is the time. Don't fall victim to peer pressure and settle for a mate that isn't right for you. Didn't find my wife until I was almost 30, and it was totally worth waiting for the right one to come along. 3 Hobbies 1 To keep you in shape 1 To keep you creative 1 To make you money If you are lucky enough to have the love of a good woman, Support her and she will support you. Two heads are better than one. I don't what I do without my SO never take one day for granted. Get out there into the world and enjoy it. I'm 45 this year and plenty of my peers didn't make it and wasted their shot. Stop fucking worrying about what people think. Marry someone you like hanging out with. The secret to happiness in life is low expectations. Having unmet expectations makes people unhappy. Keeping your expectations low ensures that they are met more often. Don't confuse this with being cynical all the time. Be optimistic and work in good faith, just keep your mind in check with how any given event will turn out. My simple advice is to own as little as possible. Having minimal possessions has made me happier and more focused. This isn't about sacrifice or going without. It's about finding pleasure in what I already own. If a friend buys a new jacket, I'm happy for him but it wouldn't motivate me to buy one. There's a certain zen calmness when you get off the consumption track.